हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आईटी जंक्शन फॉर ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एसक्यूएल सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट 38 फर्स्ट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट स्टेडियम टेबल ओवर हियर इज द इनपुट टेबल एंड इट हैज थ्री कॉलम्स नेमली आईडी विजिट डेट एंड नंबर ऑफ पीपल नाउ राइट अ एसक्यूएल क्वेरी टू डिस्प्ले द रिकॉर्ड्स with at least three or more rows with consecutive IDs and number of people should be greater than or equal to 100. Return the result table ordered by visit date as shown in the output table. If you see the input table, if you consider the row, num row ID 1, 2, 3 and uh, we have uh, for ID 1, we have number of people is 10. So this is, this, this, uh, this ID is ruled out. If you consider ID 2, 3 and 4, again 4 is uh, having number of people is 98. So again this is ruled out. So at least we should have 3 consecutive ID whose, uh, whose number of people is greater than 100. But if you consider 5, 6, 7 and 8, here the, uh, all, the, all the 3 consecutive ID is having more than more than 100 so we have this uh, this id 5 6 7 and 8 that's why we are seeing in the output table 5 6 7 8 and all these id is consecutive and all these has number of people greater than 100 so this is the problem statement and let's see how we can do this in sql server We can solve this problem either by writing SQL query using subquery or by using CTE. So I am going to solve this uh, problem by using common table expression that is CTE. So let's start with with clause with CTE underscore let's say stadium as I'll open the bracket and I'm going to close the bracket and inside this I'm going to write select ID from stadium now I'm going to derive another ID using lead function so I'm going to use lead in that I'm going to pass the ID column and I'm going to provide the offset value as 1 and then I'm going to use over clause and here I'm going to, I'm not going to use partition by I'm I will use only order by that is mandatory clause order by ID and I'll give alias as ID2. Similarly, I'm going to derive another ID. Here again, I'm going to use lead function and I'm going to use ID, but this time I'm going to give offset as 2. And then I'm going to use over clause and in that I'm going to order by order by ID as id3 so let me run this subquery let's see what it returns so you can see oh id is the the value which is there in the stadium table now id2 i have derived it so i have given the offset as one so it is going to select the next it is going to leave the first row and going to select the data from the second row so two will come and it would follow the rest other value 2 3 4 5 6 7 similarly uh, for id3 i have taken uh, i have derived it using lead function and i have given offset values 2 so it is going to leave first two rows and it is going to take 3 as its first value and it and it will continue like that 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so uh, now a question is that we have to filter based on the number of people so we are going to write where 
where number of people should be greater than equal to 100. So if I run this, oh sorry. So we have this value. Now what we have to do? I am going to uh, use another CTE ct underscore temp sorry as and inside this I am going to select start from the ct underscore stadium and I am going to do a left join join with stadium table and we'll give alias as a to the ct underscore a table sorry ct underscore stadium table and stadium i'll give alias as b and after that i'm going to join on three conditions first b dot id should be equal to a dot id1 or b dot id should be equal to a dot id2 or b dot id sorry b dot id is should be equal to a dot id3 Over here, I have to give alias for id as id1. Now, we have to make sure that we are selecting the consecutive id. So, for that, we have to add another filter condition where, where id1 plus 1 should be equal to id2 and id2 plus 1 should be equal to id3 so this con condition will make sure that we are selecting the consecutive id after that our job is very easy we are going to select star from CTE temp table it will be better if we select the column names select ID comma visit date comma number of people and we have to use distinct as well distinct so if i run this code here you go you got the correct solution we have all the id which are con consecutive and we have number of people uh, as greater than equal to 100 so this is how we can solve this problem by using lead function if you know any other way you, if you know any other way you can solve this problem please write in the comment section and if you have liked my video please do like it and do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you and thanks for watching